All right, in this video, I'm going to do a couple examples about graphing logarithmic functions. And the basic idea is if you have a logarithm, log base a of x, if the base is bigger than 1, the basic shape of your logarithm um, is going to be like the graph on the left. It's going to spike down to negative infinity close to the y-axis. It'll go through the point 1, 0. And it, it, it doesn't ever level off, but it does grow very, very slowly. If your base is between 0 and 1, it's going to be kind of a reflection about the x-axis. Um, and instead of going to negative infinity as you get close to the y-axis, it'll go to positive infinity. And then it'll start going towards negative infinity as you move towards the right, but again, very slowly. So maybe we can kind of at least convince ourselves uh, that this seems reasonable by plotting some points on a couple graphs. So in the first case here, we're going to graph y equals log base 4 of x. I'm going to be pretty selective in the values that I pick as well because, you know, if I just throw kind of a, r a random number inside of a logarithm, um, you know, in general, they're kind of hard to evaluate. So, um, okay, so let me plug in um, x equals 1. Well, if we plug in x equals 1, so I'm going to just evaluate a bunch of things here, we would have log base 4 of 1, and that says 4 to what power is 1. Well, we know 4 to the 0 power is 1, so we would get out the y value of 0. So again, that goes through the point 1, 0. Maybe I plug in the number 4. Well, in that case, we would have log base 4 of 4, and that says 4 to what power equals 4. Well, 4 to the first equals 4, so I'm kind of thinking about my exponential notation. So notice, um, here's 1, 2, 3, 4. Notice I have to go all the way out to 4 just to kind of move up one y value. Maybe we should make our graph a little bit bigger here as well. So I'm going to extend this over a little further. Um, okay, so the next number I'm actually going to plug in is x equals 16. So we have log base 4 of 16. So that says 4 to what power is positive 16? Well, 4 to the second power is 16. So notice uh, originally we were at 1, 0. To move up uh, just uh, one, one y coordinate, we have to go over to 4. Notice to get to the y value of 2, we have to go way over here to 16. Okay, so now I'm going to be sitting up here at 2. And you can kind of keep this pattern up you'll see that you have to go all the way out to 32 to get to the y value of 3. Um, so I think if you plot a few more points, you can really kind of convince yourself that this logarithm graph is really gr growing pretty slowly. Um, we can't plug negative numbers inside of a logarithm, so um, let's take some numbers between 0 and 1. So maybe I use the number 1 fourth. Well, in that case, we would get log base 4 of 1 fourth, but we could rewrite this as log base 4 of 4 to the negative first. That's the same thing as 1 fourth. And this says 4 to what exponent is 4 to the negative first? Well, we would need an exponent of negative 1. So at 1 fourth, we're down here at negative 1. Uh, let's maybe plug in an even, uh, a number even closer to 0. How about 1 over 16? Well, if we plug in 1 over 16, we'll get log base 4 of 1 over 16. But 1 over 16, we can write that as 4 squared, which means we can really write that as log base 4 of 4 to the negative second. And now this to me says 4 to what power is uh, going to give us 4 to the negative second? Well, we would just need negative 2. So, 1 fourth, we said you get out negative 1. At 1 over 16, you get out the value negative 2. So you really have to make sure you're kind of comfortable switching between logarithms and exponentials, I think, to evaluate these. But if we get even closer, 1 over 16, that's hard for me to squeeze in there. It says only then we'll be down here at negative 2. And as x gets smaller, 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 and by smaller I mean closer to 0, but positive, you're going to see that the y values go more and more negative. So hey, that is giving us um, our graph. So let's label a few points here. I think we said this would be 1 fourth comma negative 1. This point down here would be 1 over, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah, 1 over 16 comma negative 2. Uh, if you plug in 1 over 32, you would be way down at negative 3, etc., etc., etc. So 
Um, this is our basic graph of log base 4 of x. Obviously, as the bases change, the points are going to change as well. But as long as this base is bigger than 1, um, it's going to have this general shape to it. So certainly a, a kind of a basic function that you want to be able to, to recognize and know as you go further on in your math courses.